Okay guys, Kev from Old Job Garage, just a quickie tonight. Um, not much time to get stuff done, but uh, worked on the Dodge WC51 seat pans. Um, I basically got stuck into the the bottoms of the uh, the pans where they had the blue paint with the needle scaler. Um, knocked all the, 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 uh, the blue paint off and um, just leave it out the, the little latches on the side that go for the, uh, the wire seat frame and chase the threads on one of the pans for the uh, for the captured bolts. Uh, they're not they're not too bad. Um, I'm tossing up whether or not I'll get um, new ones for that. The other pan that's currently drying at the moment, which is over there somewhere, um, those captured nuts, the threads are pretty um, stuffed on them, so we'll probably end up having to get uh, new ones. But this one is still a little, a little wet in spots, but there you go. So my little science experiment kind of works. It looks good. From a distance, um, you know, they look new. Close up, you can see the pitting in them. It shows that they're originals, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, another little thing that I found out last night when I jumped on the forums is this here isn't really going to be an issue because apparently what happens is the canvas for the, for the seat, when, when it sits, the frame sits on here, and the canvas for the seat kind of has a skirt on it and the skirt goes around and tucks under and there's little clips that clip in there so it, it, it may be an issue for the clips if, if it is I'll, I'll I'll get stuck back into it and I'll um I'll weld it up or I'll do something you know, to fix that um, if it's not that much of an issue then you know it's not that much of an issue really so at the end of the day that's that's a long way away before we even get to that stage at the moment we're just cleaning repairing painting okay that's the back side cool so i'm happy with that there you go seat pan's done for the dodge um yeah all i gotta do is just try and get right up on the inside of that edge with um some primer paint so or um fish oil so i might get some fish oil this stuff here yeah so this stuff Bit of fish oil, okay. Specific blend for rust preventative for automotive home and marine, okay. Just to just to coat that metal, um, and you know we'll uh, we'll have a look to see what it's like. I know it it, it kind of dries a little sticky. Um, we'll see how I go. I'll, I'll, I'll make up my mind um, what I'm going to do. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. All right. So like I said, guys, just a quickie tonight. Throw a video in of me just doing a needle scale and a couple of pictures. And, uh, yeah, get out there, guys. Five minutes, ten minutes, an hour. Um, hook in, get some work done. And uh, it's a little bit closer to the to the end of your project. Um, I've got lots of stuff to do. I've got lots of stuff everywhere. And I skip from one thing to the next thing to the next thing. It all depends on if I've got, got bits for it, if I don't have bits for it. Um, a lot of stuff that I'm doing now is just cleaning up stuff so that I've got stuff ready to go for paint, ready to go for parts. So then I can just have a big epic paint day and start putting this together. And when I've got the dodge frame cleaned up and put back together, I'm basically just going to start bolting things onto it. Same with the uh, the Jeep frame, we've got that ready to go. It's just got to get painted and then we can start bolting things so we can just start buying boxes of bolts and nuts and whatnot. So anyway guys, thanks for sticking with us and uh, catch you in the next video. Ciao.